Have you ever pondered on the significance of sexual pleasure within the framework of Rwanda's culture? Well, you might be surprised to learn that in the heart of Africa, in the small but mighty nation of Rwanda, there exists a traditional sexual practice known as kunyaza, which serves a unique purpose in challenging conventional gender norms. Rooted in the ancient myth of a queen's sexual independence, kunyaza is a practice that places women's pleasure at the forefront. This intimate act involves female ejaculation, and interestingly, it is seen as a symbol of masculinity. This might sound contradictory at first, but let's delve a bit deeper. In a world where the narrative around sexual pleasure is often male-centric, Rwanda's practice of kunyaza flips the script. The pleasure of the woman is not only considered but is made a priority. This societal expectation around kunyaza, however, is not without its complexities. While it can be viewed as empowering for women, providing them with a sense of sexual autonomy and satisfaction, it also reflects a form of male control over women's bodies. Rwanda, renowned for its progressive gender policies, is a country where women are taking on leadership roles in various spheres of life, from politics to business. However, the cultural practice of kunyaza highlights a complex interplay between these gender roles and sexual pleasure. Despite the empowering aspect of kunyaza, it's crucial to remember that it is steeped in societal expectations. What appears to be a symbol of masculinity, the ability to bring a woman to the point of ejaculation, can also be seen as a form of control. The juggling act between empowerment and control reflects an intricate dance in the realm of Rwandese sexual culture. It's a dance that tells a story of a society striving for gender equality, while also grappling with the vestiges of traditional norms. In conclusion, sexual pleasure, particularly in the context of Rwanda's culture, is not just about physical satisfaction. It's an intricate web of power dynamics, societal expectations, and gender roles. It's about the empowerment of women, the redefinition of masculinity, and the ongoing dialogue around control and liberation. The importance of sexual pleasure in Rwanda's culture, therefore, extends beyond the bedroom. It is a mirror reflecting the broader societal norms and the continuous quest for gender equality. It's a testament to a nation that is not afraid to challenge the status quo, to question, to evolve, and most importantly, to prioritize the pleasure of its women. This has been an exploration into the fascinating world of sexual pleasure within Rwanda's culture. It's a journey that reveals the complexities of gender, power, and pleasure in a society that continues to challenge and redefine these very concepts.